Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. It's Renee from Tailspin Farm, and I am coming at you today just to do a little chat, show you a few things that I'm working on or have finished. Um, I'm going to do an unboxing, and I'm going to show you something that's coming up in the shop, hopefully at the end of this week. Um, I am, if you don't know me, I am a crocheter, a knitter, a hand spinner. Um, I also raise Angora rabbits, hence the shirt. Um, and I use their fiber to spin yarn. Um, and so I've been doing that probably 15 years now. You can follow me on Instagram. I'm on Facebook here at YouTube. Um, I also have a website. It's tailspinfarm.com and I'm just starting to get that up and running more here. I would like to start blogging again on that soon. So we'll see what this year does um, and where it takes us. So I'm glad you're here today. Uh, let's see, I think I'll show you what I finished first. Um, I finished this, I started it last week, finished it last week. So I'm really excited about that. I have a bunch of yarn that I had received um, either through gifts or I have yarn from a couple of fiber share boxes that I hadn't used yet and so I'm just pulling from the stash trying to get things um, used up <clears throat> because I do create yarn. I've done two spin-alongs here in the last couple months. Um, I did the Crafty Housewife Yarns 12 Days of Christmas spin-along and I also did Spin Her Free um, with Crafty Housewife Yarns also and that was a spin -illusion. Um for charity and so I have lots and lots of yarn and I have lots and lots of yarn to use up and so I am creating things and making things um, and so what I did I had a shawl um, I had a bunch of yarn and let's see I have bits and pieces of it left um, I had oh, I think. oh just a minute I dropped one of them so I had that one and these two here and then I ran mohair, a strand of mohair through. Um, this is a silk mohair. Uh, that one was from the Spun Bunny um, and it was a lace weight mohair and I ran that through the whole um, pattern that I did. I did, the pattern I picked was Digging Me Shawl. Um, this is Liz from Arrow Acres, one that she designed. Um, I like her stuff, she does a lot of crochet patterns. Um, I am a much better crocheter than I am a knitter. I learned to crochet 30 years ago, um, and I taught myself how to knit probably 15 years ago. Um, I prefer crocheting over knitting. Um, so I've been working through some crochet patterns. Um, <clears throat> and so this is what I got out of that. Um, it's just a shawl. It's a beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, the other, the other yarns, throwing stuff this morning. Um, these were out of... Um, my um, fiber share package, a couple of them. Um, and so these were uh, one mini skein. That was the, what I have just a teeny tiny bit left in. Um, and that was a sock, fingering sock. Um, and it was Alamito Spay yarn, which I'd never heard of. And then I had, um, Peruvian Tangus Cotton, and I had some from Bella Trista. So these were different yarns to me, and I'm not sure which one is which, but these were the other two colors that I used. And then, of course, the mohair and silk was from the Spun Bunny, which I know I follow her on Instagram. She has a pretty active site. Um, you're going to hear crying. That's my Border Collie trying to get in my bedroom. Um, so just ignore her. If I let her in, she's going to be click clacking all over the floor. So this is my finished project for last week. Um, and it's so soft with that kid mohair. 
um, through the entire pattern. I just love it. And I know on Liz's um, pattern, she had a color changing yarn, I believe, where I just switched out every, I don't know, I had different amounts of everything. So I switched it as I went along and I stopped the pattern once I ran out of mohair. Um, and it was a really simple, it was a five row, five row pattern. And then you repeat four and five until you get the length you want. So, um, this is keeping me warm this week in this Michigan weather that we're having. So that is what I finished this week. Um, you can find that pattern on Ravelry and it is again called the Digging Me Shawl. I bought that it is a paid pattern so I have that this week um, we'll do the um, I got my yarn may box this last week and I have not opened it yet so I thought I'd pop on and do that today this is the February box I think um, so as usual yarn a is a monthly subscription box she does both I think it's Vicki Howell that does this one. In fact, I know it is. She does both knit and crochet patterns in the box. So when you order it, you don't have to pick one or the other. Um, you get the pattern booklet with both of them. And it was mittens um, this time around, knit and crochet. Each pattern looks just a little bit different, but um, so the knits are, uh, knit ones are convertible red mitten. How cute. And then, um, let's see, I don't want to show the pattern the crocheted ones are also red mittens so I'm looking forward to that I have gotten into socks and mittens lately I don't know why I'm working on so much yarn um, with the rabbits that I'm trying to find little projects that I can take with me in the car and just sit and do for a few minutes and knit um, mittens and socks seem to fit that bill really really well so in this box, you always get enough yarn to create the project, and then you typically get um, a couple more things from other handmade businesses, or um, I know she does a lot of women-owned businesses. And so there are two skeins or two balls of Red Heart Chic. I haven't heard of this one. Chic Sheep. And this is uh, Marina Wool. From Red Heart. Um, Red Heart sure has come a long way. I do, um, I make vintage Christmas stockings that my husband's grandma um, passed the pattern along to me. And so I've had that pattern for probably 15 years. Grandma started making them back in the 70s and it was Red Heart yarn then that she used. And so um, when you think of the Red Heart acrylic and then they've they kind of upped their game with this. This is a merino, and I think it's called lipstick, which is perfect. And I don't have my glasses on. I believe it's 100% merino. Yes, it is 100% merino. So chic, sheep, red heart, awesome. Um, also, there are a couple goodies I did. I am trying out. I don't know why. But Again, I've been a crocheter for 30 years. Um, my mother-in-law taught me to crochet when I was dating my husband. Um, and it's been over 30 years that I've been with my husband. So um, I just realized last week that there are so many crochet hooks out on the market. And most of mine, now I have a few, um, like the wooden ones and stuff that I've tried and gotten in packages or gifts. Um, I do have more of those recently, but I have, have really lacked in trying different crochet hooks. So I am starting to um, gather some different kinds and some more ergonomic ones. I use a lot of just the aluminum ones. And I know I've watched other YouTubers that buy different crochet hooks and they'll talk about how the speed of their crocheting is changed dramatically when you have different hooks. And so it dawned on me last week, I don't try different hooks ever. And so I did end up with the, the Yarnier. You can do add-ons. So I went ahead and did um, the hook add-on. This is a Knitter's Pride hook, which I have never tried. 
Um, so I'm looking forward to that. It has the soft grip um, and then the aluminum head it looks like, or um, you know, the typical metal head. This is an H. So this is for the crocheted mittens, which are what I'm gonna do with this pattern. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying some different hooks. If any of you have any recommendations, put them in below. I would love to try some different ones and then do some reviews on them because again, I haven't tried very many hooks for crocheting as long as I have. So that might be one of my upcoming YouTube videos is, is doing some different hook reviews. Um, there's this cute little darning needle, which I always need because I always lose. This is from Namaste. Um, and this is just for weaving in ends. So this is one of the little goodies you get when you order um, the Yarnier box. And you've got a cute little um, product, progress keep, keeper. Um, this is from Katrinkles, which I had not heard of this company. This is a wrong side, right side. You can see the RS and the WS. So wrong side, right side um, keepers you can put right on your knitting or crocheting. I use them too for that. So those are cute. And then this is from Coco Knits. Coco Knits, um, you can see it right there. These are claw clips. And they, this is something I have never seen. They're like little hair clips. Um, the little hair clips that we've all used to pull back our hair. And it's for seaming, um, putting pieces together, which is an awesome idea for these because I have, um, I have a couple things that I can think of that I'm going to use these for. So it's for um, knitted or crocheted pieces to hold them firmly together for seaming. Um, and they will grip your work and keep it together. So I'm looking forward to trying out that. So that is the Yarnier box. Um, and I guess I should have put a disclaimer. I'll write that in the description that um, if you haven't gotten yours and don't want to see what's in it, don't look at the video. But... Um, so yeah, I enjoy this box because, um, I do knit and crochet and sometimes I, I'd like to switch and she does send both patterns in there. So, um, and there's always some fun add on things, prizes and stuff. So that is the February one. Um, and I think the last thing that I have for today, this is just going to be a quick pop on Monday morning video. Um, I'm getting ready to, again, um, the website is up. It's working. It's running. Um, the website has actually been there for about a year and a half. Um, my son-in-law did it for me. We unexpectedly took on foster kids, two littles, um, over a year and a half ago. It was right after I had my website done. I was going to hit the ground running. And we got back into foster care with two littles. And it kind of Put a halt to all the, the extra stuff I was doing I needed to focus on them and so my website I just kind of um, ignore the dog again she's now barking at the ice fisherman walking across the lake um, border collies oh, I never knew um, so we took on the foster kids and I kind of put a hold on anything to do with my website and my yarn business and so now the kids have left our home here in November and I am slowly trying to get back to where I was a year and a half ago or more. Um, so the website is up, it is live, it's running, and um, I do have a few things available on there now. You can go in and shop, it should should be all working well. Um, and then this week, at, or Friday, is um, a launch day for a collection that I've done my first collection we'll see how this goes this is a limited collection um, I'm only gonna um, I only have a few for sale right now just to see where this goes and how this goes um, so what I have I have a set of six Angora minis this is the first one um, you'll get a package and this will be, again, limited edition. Those of you who have raised Angor rabbits or have Angor rabbits um, know how much at work it is to get the fiber from the rabbits and 
you could care for the rabbits and groom the rabbits and then spin the yarn. Um, but I love it and I want to continue to do it. So this is what I'm, I'm launching. It will be a set of six Angora minis. These are going to be 20 yards each. Um, and they will be um, random colors. You will get at least one color of my rabbits. I have dark grays, light grays. I have some, um, they lean more towards a brown gray, a taupey gray, and then I have white. So you will get um, my pick, what I put in the package is what you're gonna get right now, of six skeins, 20 yards each, mini skeins of Angora. And these will be on the shop um, Friday morning, um, this week, Friday the 14th, Valentine's Day. Um, and so I'm going to launch those and they will be available. Um, these are going to be $36 for the mini skeins. And the other reason why I sh wanted to show you this was because I um, wanted to show you what you can do with Angora, first of all, and how you can use these mini skeins to maybe add in some um, stuff into your work. Again, Angora is considered a luxury yarn um, because of the work. Um, I handle all the rabbits. I care for all the rabbits. I hand groom all the rabbits. They are gently groomed with um, combs, and they are never harmed in grooming them. I have that question a lot. I've talked about that before. Um, we, we take really good care of our rabbits, and then I spin all the yarn. And so it is time consuming, which is why there's a limited amount and why Angora is really expensive, folks. But I wanted to show you, you can see I've got two lines. I've got a line right here and I've got a line right here in this shawl that I added two rows into here. And that's a good way to use these mini skeins. And it adds just a beautiful, well, with the mohair too, but Angora is going to add this beautiful halo effect um, into any of your work. So these mini skeins would work perfect on adding a stripe into a hat, a stripe into a scarf. Um, you can add a stripe into a mitten um, with these mini skeins it would be perfect. And you can also, um, I do a bunch of different things with small amounts of Angora. Um, you can make pom-poms for your hat with Angora. So, these will be on the website um, Friday morning. Again, there's six of them in the package. They're 20 yards each. Um, they are smaller than typical mini skeins. Um, but again, I wanted to keep the price down. I did my typical pricing that I do on the yarn. I went down a little bit for these so that I could get them out there and get them on the shop and um, have them for you. So these are limited right now. I'll see how they do and kind of go from there. So if you are a crocheter or a knitter, you like luxury fiber, these are the kind of things you want to try Angora. This would be a great way to do that. Um, again, the colors will be random. You'll get what you get in the package for this time around and I'll kind of reevaluate as I go along and see how this goes. So um, yeah, I think I think that's it from here today. Um, I will be on Facebook and Instagram quite a bit this week, um, coming up to launching the minis um, and for those being on the shop. And I will be adding a couple other things that have been on the shop previously on my Etsy store um, and things that I have just had before. I'll be adding those into the shop. So I hope you come check it out. Um, and again, you can follow me, you can subscribe down below, click the like button. Um, that helps me with these videos and you can go into Instagram, follow me there. And also Facebook, um, they're all Tailspin Farm. My website is tails tailspinfarm.com. And I hope you guys are all creating today and that you have a beautiful Monday. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.